Hello and thank you so much for joining me today for another exciting episode of Unboxing This Is Maxi Limit. As you can see, a new brother just arrived. And again, I'm here to do the unboxing to show you what you expect if you're planning to buy this product. And what do we have here is the brand new 2019 Microsoft Surface Laptop. This is Laptop 3. So in this video, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be breaking this box open, see what is inside the box, try to set up the computer for the first time, and then we'll move on from there. But if you are new to my channel, please, please go down below, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment this video because that will help me a lot. And all that will make me continue doing these amazing videos for you. So in today's unboxing, we'll be looking at the brand new Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 with the Windows 10 Home pre-installed. In the box, we will see uh, the power supply based on what they are saying here. And uh, this also is uh, support Wi-Fi 802.11 and also has a Bluetooth. And uh, in today's model, you will see that uh, it's the 10th gen Intel Core i5 processor with the 256 gigabyte of storage and 8 gigabyte of RAMs. Obviously, if uh, you want something that is more powerful, you might want to go higher. Eventually, going higher means spending more money because I believe this comes around 1700 but I also saw one that is up to 2000 So if you want to spend money, you might want to go for the uh, higher storage. Eventually, higher storage means you can have more this PC can actually do more for you, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll leave that into you. You can decide whether you want to go with this particular version or if you want to uh, to go with the uh, the bigger the bigger one with a bigger with a better performance. So without uh, further ado, let's just crack it open. I have uh, my uh, my knife. We are just gonna uh, open this quickly here. So. Let me cut it on the side and here and we can actually lift this thing up. Let me put that wrapper on the side and continue with the unboxing. I'm gonna lift this up and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. So let's lift it up. Ooh, this is amazing. So beautiful, eh? I can tell you. All right, let's just put this on the side for the moment and then uh, see what else comes in the box. So in the box, obviously, we were gonna be seeing the, uh, the quick start guide as, also, as always. I don't know, nowadays they only uh, they put this, uh, this white paper, I don't know what it is, but I also saw it on, the, uh, on my previous video. Uh, I don't know what this is for, but it's in there. And here we go with the, um, with the Microsoft Surface Pro laptop. This actually uh, is kind of handy if you never used a, uh, a laptop before, they explain you everything that is on the on the PC so you might want to go through and read it a little bit um, yeah so uh, like here it said get started plug in the power and uh, you know they, they, they give you instruction if you want a uh, if you want to use this device you might want to read it you don't have to if you already know because I believe nobody ever read these things anyway um, yeah, so that is all in the uh, in this little pamphlet. Let's move that on the side as well. Also in the box, we will find the power supply. Let me open this up. Mm. 
there we go and uh, there's nothing else in the box so we have the power supply here Again, uh, I'm in Canada, so that's why I have this connect, uh, this plug like this. If you are not in Canada, yours might be different, right? But uh, and it's very easy to do. Uh, you just have to uh, put the thing inside there, and then there we go. And also, as well, you can see that we have a USB um, a USB port. This actually can help you if you decide maybe to use this port. You can Use it to charge your phone or any other device that you need. This is very. This can be very handy. So um, that's a good. That's a good plus for Microsoft. And I believe that is everything we have in the box. There's nothing else in the box. And then uh, let me see if I can actually lift this up. Oh, there's, there we go. <laughs> there's nothing else in the box. So that being said, let's put this on the side and now turn our attention to the device itself. And this is the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. It is a space gray. So I decided this year to go for the space gray. I normally uh, choose the, uh, the titanium, but this year I wanted to try um, the space gray. So let me uh, unwrap this up so we can see what is inside. Oh, that's a beautiful sound and there we go um, and uh, here we go so on uh, one side of the device we do have the uh, the uh, the charging port that's where you want to connect your uh, your, char your your charging adapter i believe is magnet so as soon as you put it on it's going to snap into place and at the back of the uh, of the device we don't have anything on the side of the device we do have uh, a uh, a usb type a and a usb type c and uh, and we have a um, headphone jack port where you want to put your headphones if you want to listen to music and uh, that is pretty much on the front here we don't have anything and that is pretty much it in front actually we have the uh, shiny uh, windows logo this is beautiful you can see how the lights reflecting on it it's amazing it's not heavy you could feel that this kind of not too light either it's yeah it feels solid and premium so uh amazing well done microsoft Okay, it's now time to turn it on. There we go. So let's turn it on. Let's open it. Ah, this is beautiful. Guys, it's amazing. And uh, they have this beautiful and shiny kind of paper, soft paper on it. This is amazing, really amazing. Um, yeah. And then obviously we have the power button. Let's power it on.
If you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. All right, let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? No. No. Which region do you want to use? Canada. I've got that you want to use Canada. Is that right? Yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? No. Uh, so guys, um, you know, if you know me, I don't like to, uh, to use my, um, my Microsoft account to log in into, the, into a computer because I just don't like it. I prefer to have a, a regular username and a password. So in this case, that's what you're going to be doing. But now in this case, if we connect uh, the PC to the internet, it's not going to allow us to, uh, to do that. So uh, for this one, we are not going to be connecting the PC to a network. We are going to leave it as no internet connection. So I'm going to come here and choose I don't have internet connection. Because if I connect it to the internet, it's not going to give me any more. It's not going to give me, uh, it's not going to allow me to, uh, to create a, a username and a password. So I'm going to go for I don't have internet. Just so you know, connecting to a network now can save you some time later. If you want to get that out of the way, choose yes. So obviously it's going to push you to connect to the internet so that you might sign in with your uh, Hotmail or Microsoft account. But I don't want that. So I will still say that continue with limited access or limited setup. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use windows you can decline but then you know no windows so uh here is some uh windows 10 license agreement you do have to accept this to, in order to use windows if you don't then you don't you cannot use windows and we only have one option anyway there's not even uh skip or whatever so we do have to accept it or we turn off the pc uh, so we have to go and accept it. Type what you want to name your account. Okay, there we go. So in this part of the of the screen, that's where I want to name my user. Um, it says who is going to be using the PC. So obviously, I'm going to be putting my name. If I have chosen, uh, if I have connected this uh, Microsoft Surface laptop to an internet connection, I will not have this uh, screen. So I'm gonna. Uh, Say a maxi limit. So let's type in maxi limit. Okay, so once uh, your name is typed correctly and you're okay with that, you can go for next. Okay, now type a password for your account. And for the password as well, you do not have to put your password. It's recommended to do so, but uh, for the sake of this video, I will not be putting in any password. So I will. Uh, I will just go next. Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing even when you switch devices. Just choose yes to sync your activities. Yes. So to, to, to hey, keep this video short, I'm gonna accept all these default so settings so things can go very well. But you can, uh, at your, you can, if you want, modify any of these settings to your preferences. Don't, 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 don't just copy what I'm doing from here on, okay? So I didn't hear what she said, but I guess you want me to accept it, so I'm gonna accept it. 
Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. So anyway, I'm gonna, uh, like I said, use the basic, uh, the default now settings. Choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps so we can move forward. And if you ever lose your device, here's where you get to. I don't like the fact that Microsoft wants so many information from me and then I just don't like it. So uh, I would just go basic and accept. Language recognition and suggest if you want tips, offers and suggestions that are tailored. Last up for these settings, choose whether or not you want your ads to be more relevant to you. Okay. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. All right, we are almost at the end of the setup. That's pretty easy. Just have to read through it and go next and next and next. Um, again, this is the uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, brand new, 2019. We are in we are, we are in October. I just grabbed this for you guys so you can have an idea of. Uh, what to expect if you're planning to buy one of these, uh, I mean, this device, right? So as you can see, it is amazing. Uh, it's, it's, it is an amazing product. Uh, I did not have time yet to dig in, and that will be on my next video. We'll be doing a full review of the, uh, of the Microsoft uh, Surface Laptop 3. Uh, this video was just the unboxing and to give you an idea of what you expect if you're planning to buy this device. And uh, the trackpad is kind of big, it's, it's big. This is an iPhone uh, X, and if you compare to it, it is here. So it's almost more than half of the iPhone 8. And then, yeah, it is amazing. The keyboard is amazing, as you can see. We have a backlight. Now it's not dark, but otherwise you can see it. And then uh, this is like three settings. Uh, so when you press the first time, the light is there, and then you keep pressing, it gets more brighter. And then yeah, so you have three levels here. So um, and the keyboard is is good. I mean, guys, you have to give me time to play around this uh, this PC for one or two days, so I can give you exactly full review and specs and settings and how this performs during the day. We talk about the battery life, we talk about playing game on it. I mean, a whole bunch of stuff, right? So, um, yeah, so this is just the unboxing, okay, guys? Um, yeah, so what else to say? Um, as you can see, this is the maximum that uh, that we can open this for. It cannot go any, any longer, any more than that. And then it is, uh, the, the, the hinge is, is good. Yeah, you just push it, it stays wherever you want it to be. And this is the maximum. And uh, obviously this is a touch screen. This is a touch screen so we can open uh, this touch screen and then it's, uh, yeah, it's good. You can either use the, uh, the mouse, I mean the, uh, the trackpad, or you can just use the touch screen if you want to. Um, I don't know yet if this support the uh, the pen. I will buy the pen. I'm sure it does support it. I will buy it, and we will be doing a video, a separate video on that as well. And then, um, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll be putting the um, the specs of this uh, laptop in the description down below. And once again, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please go and do so. That will help me a lot. Don't forget to comment and share with your friends and family so they can also be informed of all the new technology that's coming out. Um, yeah.